Hi, my name is Erin Holt Coyne, and my story from the field is about data integration to support overdose surveillance. Tennessee Department of Health is really fortunate in that we have um, at our disposal and available um, a lot of really rich data sources, and we have been able to leverage those data sources to pull together and mine data to be able to support surveillance programs that had an immediate need, one of which being specifically opioid overdose surveillance, um, but then we have certainly um, expanded that beyond to just um, more broadly overdose surveillance. And so um, specifically, we've been able to take disparate data sources, both internal data sources and external data sources, bring them together in a centralized um, uh, a centralized location, um, be able to um, integrate that data to be able to tell that story about that patient. Doing so has allowed us to um, alleviate some of that extra data reporting burden on some of our um, some of our clinical partners, as well as really maximize and leverage um, the data that we already have. I think one of the really important things about operating this space is that um, in order to in order to solve problems, you have to have a really good understanding of what the problems are. Personally, one of the things that I get the most excited about with regards to data modernization, um, and, and just frankly, public health informatics in general, um, is taking away the burden of our public health staff. Being able to automate, being able to provide the right information for the right action to the right people at the right time, um, is probably what excites me the most. This is an opportunity for us to really get creative with how we think about sustainability and what we can do, what's within our power to help promote and ensure sustainability, whether that's breaking down those programmatic silos to identify the root problems that many of our programs have, whether they're infectious disease or overdose surveillance or, or um, birth defects, for example. There are shared solutions that all of those programs can take advantage of, like data integration, for example. Um, and so approaching, approaching our public health problems with that mindset can allow us to take better advantage of the limited resources that we do have um, to maximize the benefit. I'm seeing, um, certainly within my own jurisdiction and my own agency, but also with other agencies, um, people taking a really thoughtful look at their governance processes. Um, how can they improve those processes? How can they improve those policies? Um, what tools can they put in place to um, enable data integration and data sharing with partners that maybe they haven't been able to do so with before? We need to really appreciate and understand that this is an evolution and we're a part of this evolution. There's a destination that we're working towards, um, but really it's the journey. We have to figure out how we keep moving forward, how we're continuously improving, not only for our business, but for our constituents and for our communities. So we're protecting them, that's our job. It's about being proactive.